Enterprise resource planning softwares are huge tools and they have multiple modules and can help firms or businesses do many different things. So for example, ERPs can help firms manage their finances, accounts, file taxes, pay salaries, uh, manage the promotions and growth of employees, manage product flows, customers, suppliers, an amazing range of things. In this video or this session, we are concerned with a very specific part of ERP, which is probably the most important thing for a manufacturing or a retailing company. And uh, we call this part as uh, MRP2 or uh, Manufacturing Resource Planning. So MRP2 has a series of tasks, a series of plans, which firms activate so that the firms are able to achieve their business objectives. And in other words, what we also say is MRP2 is a system of plan that ensures that the firm's activities are in sync with their plans. So at a very basic level, what MRP2 does is it allows us to buy the relevant raw material and components at the right time. It also allows us to ensure um, that uh, the flow of goods within the facility is smooth and without too much inventory buildup or without taking too much time. Um, it allows us to manage our resources so that the utilization of the resources is controlled. And remember one of the previous videos we discussed, too much utilization is problematic, too less is also problematic. So MRP2 can help us plan the right amount of uh, resource utilization. And it can also help us decide when should we buy new machines given um, the kind of customer orders or the rate of change of customer orders that we are facing. Um, it can help us synchronize our schedules or shift schedules so that we uh, have the right amount of operators, machine operators available to man the machines that have been planned to run. Um, it can plan the ideal level of raw materials or, or components or semi-finished goods work in progresses that we must um, store because the demand could somehow be non-uniform. And uh, so the MRP could, MRP2 can suggest that we should build up some inventory during lean seasons and store it and then use it in the peak seasons. MRP2 is also connected to forecasts at multiple levels. Like, like for example, in this chart, we see that uh, the forecasts are connected at least at two levels, which is the market info and the customer orders demand forecasts. But it, it helps use customer forecasts in the right sense to make optimum use of that data. Um, we can also use MRP2 plans uh, because it, it talks about material to inform customers about uh, when the material uh, that they had ordered will exactly be available to them. And lastly, it also helps us manage um, our, the resources in quality management. So what we're going to do in the next, um, in this session is look at each of the small components that we have listed here and uh, discuss their specific task and how do they help in converting a company's strategic plans or business objectives into shop flow actions.